From being the mutated child of the ruling family of Titan, to becoming one of the biggest murderers in the universe, Thanos quickly rose up to being one of the most dangerous supervillains in the whole Marvel Universe. So when he wasn't on his quest of achieving unimaginable power through collecting the Infinity Gems, or later flexing said power while wielding the Infinity Gauntlet, what did Thanos do in his free time? Well, as a child, Thanos spent much of his early years alone, behind his many books. He had a huge appetite for knowledge, as he wanted to become a renowned scientist one day like his father. He also had a taste for art, spending his time at recess drawing pictures of the wildlife that lived on Titan. Though these hobbies soon took a back seat when Thanos was invited to play with all the other kids of his school, quickly becoming one of the popular kids among his peers. As years passed, and following the manipulations of death that manifested itself as a little girl, Thanos rose to become a serial killer on Titan, initially convincing himself that he did it for science, until eventually accepting the fact that he's just simply enjoyed the act of killing. However, Thanos still attempted to fight his urges of taking away life, so when he reached his young adulthood, he fled into the chaotic regions of the Outer Rim, where he could escape from his past and the evil he committed on Titan. While planet hopping and earning money as a technician for a pirate crew, Thanos desperately tried to fall in love among the many women he encountered, as he desired to feel the magical emotion of love, something he hadn't genuinely felt since he was a child. And Thanos went to town attempting to find someone to love, choosing any race and species that he found somewhat attractive to him. Not only did Thanos seek a woman to fall in love with, but also have a child he could love as well. And with every woman that he met, they together would have a baby after a couple months. Whenever Thanos looked upon his newborn following the birth, he always felt nothing towards them. No love, absolutely nothing. And because of this, he would always leave moments afterwards, never to return back and continue his endless search of finding someone to love. Thanos did this for years with the exact same cycle, meeting a woman, sleeping with her, having a baby, and then leaving after not feeling satisfied at what they produced. As this went on, he grew bored and disgusted with the women he was with, as to him they were always the same. They deeply loved him, yet he felt nothing towards them in return. One day, the captain of the pirate crew that Thanos worked for challenged him to a duel, as he despised the fact that one of his crewmen refused to kill during raids. Thanos tried to prevent the fight, as he didn't wish to kill anyone, but during the fight something snapped within him, causing him to destroy the captain. The taste of killing for the first time in so long brought Thanos the joy he'd been seeking for all these years. After this, he returned back to Titan, where he met with the girl that was in reality death. He professed his true love to her, that she was the only woman he ever had any genuine emotions for, and that he would do anything to gain the love back from her. To prove his loyalty to her, Death ordered Thanos to go back and murder all the women he mated with and the children they gave birth to. Thanos did this without hesitation, returning back to hopeful wives only for them to scream out in horror as they realized his true purpose for coming back. Each wife and child that Thanos had was eventually killed by him. However, this didn't fully satisfy Death, but it was a good start in her mind. From then on, Thanos essentially devoted himself to gaining the full love of Death, doing anything to achieve this, even if it meant killing countless innocents and devastating entire worlds. Many years later, a fully grown Thanos at one point celebrated a holiday known as Pre-Christian Yule, which had Christmas elements tossed into the mix. During the celebration, he gave his newly adopted daughter, Gamora, a baby doll as a present. Gamora then asked Thanos if they could go to the lagoon later that day, to which he replied with a perhaps, suggesting that going to the lagoon with young Gamora was another thing Thanos did with his free time while not scheming for power. And finally, a much older and perhaps wiser Thanos formed a hobby of farming, for at this point in his life, after all the chaos and death that he caused, he finally felt at peace. For despite being a man of such talent, farming really did give Thanos the peaceful life he ultimately desired in the end of it all. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe for more videos like this one, and feel free to let us know what other topics you'd like for us to cover in the future, ranging from Marvel to DC Comics.